everyone, it's DJ Garcia, we're Raymond Garcia. Today we're reacting to the new Spider-Man Far From Home official trailer number two, although it doesn't say trailer number two in here. However, I do have to let you guys know, I do think there are Avengers Endgame spoilers in this trailer, so if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, do not watch this trailer. Do not watch me watch this trailer. You've been warned. So, we're going to write this in three, two, one, go. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers oh, oh, Endgame yet... Oh, okay, you just said it. ...because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Okay. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <sighs> I'm still crying. Ooh. You gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work, because I am going on vacation. That was pretty funny. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling me. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. What up, Dorks? What's up? We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Oh, <laughs> I think MJ really likes me. That reminds me when I first fell in love. Hey, have you seen this part? You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. <laughs> this is Mr. Beck. I could use someone like you on my world. Your world, Beck, is from Earth, just not ours. He's so much different Earth. What? You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. <laughs> what? He's lying, though. He's lying. Maybe someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Bitch, please, you've been to space. <laughs> What do you want, Peter? Yeah, this is fish ball. Back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider Man. No, of course I want to. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Does she know? You may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Oh. Oh. I gotta get the guys out of here. Get on the jet. Who are you? I work with Spider Man. You work for Spider Man? I work with Spider Man, not for Spider Man. <laughs> Where was that? That looked like somewhere different. All right, pretty cool. T they actually, they whoa. He's from a. They're doing the. Mo I don't think. I don't think Mysterio is from a different Earth. I think he's just kind of making that up and all, all that bullshit. But uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe he could be. And they, they, but they're introducing some stuff. Uh, something I don't like. It's only a trailer. But if they revealed that MJ knows that he's Spider-Man, I'm gonna be kind of like disappointed a little bit. I kind of don't want anyone to know his identity even more because then it just. It, it, people become more forgiving for him, you know, when he has to leave and be Spider-Man. And when people don't know he's Spider-Man, they just start to think Peter Parker is a dick. And But he can't tell them that he's Spider-Man. And it's like, that's why Ned, like, you know, Ned doesn't get mad at him because he understands it. But, like, the, like you need his personal life to clash with his superhero life. If he has to try to go on a date with MJ, but he has to leave to be Spider-Man, she's going to be very upset. And he can't tell her. He's just going to have to be like, yeah, I left. But that doesn't work if she knows he's Spider-Man. And then she's a little bit more forgiving. She understands. And then just doesn't cause, this conf it doesn't cause conflict at all between them. So hopefully she's just doing one of her jokes, messing around. I, again, it's just a trailer. So hopefully she doesn't exactly figure it out. But if, like, if they revealed that in a trailer, I, I, mean, even, I mean, even if that happens in the movie, why would you put it in a trailer, though? Like, you know, so hopefully... It was just edited to be one of her jokes, you know, that she's accusing him of being a Spider-Man. And when she says the word or the line, it's obvious she's saying it in a completely different context. So that's something I'm a little worried about. 
uh, the multiverse. I have no doubt that they're going to start doing the multiverse stuff. I don't know if Mysterio is actually going to be from a different Earth. Because uh, it's Mysterio. Like, we know he's the villain. We know he's the one creating all of those other elemental villains. Uh, that's just, that's, if anything is obvious, it's going to be that. It seems like they are diving a little bit more into his what Spider-Man is for me and you know what what I love about the character of Spider-Man TV shows comics movies anything something that's always the same for him is that he wants to just go on a date but he can't like things like that he wants to go to school he wants to do these things but he can't he can't take the girl to homecoming dance he can't just be on a date with someone that's just the superhero life for him that's Spider-Man like that's why it sucks and he can't, as, as I said, he can't tell someone, I'm Spider-Man, that's why I gotta leave. He can't, because like, that's the whole sucky part. Uh, and then MJ starts to probably get pretty annoyed and pissed off at Peter. And so that's where that happens, and that's how that works for him. It, life sucks. But, uh, you know, the only reason, you know, in the comics, Mary Jane was, you know, she comes from an abusive household. Uh, abusive kind of a father, you know, and she has this really traumatizing and depressive backstory with her family it's very drama it's just a bunch of drama and stuff uh and so at school she would pretend to be someone else and she would be the party person the the popular girl and she would just be you know that way no one it's a it's a way of not being embarrassed you know about her family her her her, her life at home uh, and she becomes that popular person and no one would ever suspect that something's wrong from her house or her family um so it's a way of hiding that from everyone at her school and that's how she's known like more as the popular girl or the pretty girl whatever uh but it's her way of hiding it you know uh and i've always liked that so if you, you know what i would like for this version of mj she's a little bit more quiet i they, i've been piecing it together i would love if they explore if she comes from a household like that if this mj played by zendaya comes from a really maybe abusive father or someone just this household that's just very bad and that's why she stays in detention in the homecoming movie she stays in detention even though she doesn't have detention but maybe it's because she doesn't want to go home uh, and instead of going the comics way where she becomes popular and she pretends to be kind of someone else what if she goes the more depressive kind of a loner kind of state, which she is in Homecoming. Uh, she's a little bit more awkward, she's a little bit more to herself, you know, a little bit more just, you, you know what I mean? Like, she's a little bit more lonely, it seems like. Uh, and, you know, probably because of, you know, she's not able to hide it, like in the comics version. Uh, and then she starts to like Peter. Peter, probably, to, you know, someone who can she can really trust. And then he has to be Spider-Man. And as I said, that sucks. If they're on a date, she trusts him, he has to be Spider-Man, he has to leave in that very moment and not tell her where he went. Become Spider-Man, yada yada. She might be mad, her trust is gonna be broken, It's but he has to, he's Spider-Man, that always comes first. That's why Spider-Man, Spider-Man, that's the main point of his character. That's the true epitome of Spider-Man. People always get it confused. People always say the entire point of Spider-Man and yes, people do say this on Twitter every few months. They say the entire point of Spider-Man is jokes and that he's in high school. But that's not it. <laughs> um, but things like that where it's like, you know, he, he just wants his own personal life. But Spider-Man stuff gets in the way and it is more important. It is, it's, it's a responsibility that was set up from Uncle Ben's death. So it's like, as I know, and, and yeah, MJ, trusting him, he has to keep leaving her during their dates. It's going to be very very sad if she opens up to if she does in fact in this movie have the same like abusive kind of a drama household <laughs> like you know things like that you know because it gets it's really bad for mj in the comics and, and and uh her little backstory and it's not revealed until like way later uh and so there could be a moment where she opens up to him you know and she's really pissed off she confronts peter of why he keeps leaving her uh, and she says, you know, just that she, he's like the only person she trusts. I would really love that they go that route uh, and they explore that a little bit. That would be very, very, uh, that would be very, very cool if they did that. And I would really like that. You deal with MJ's stuff and then you deal with Peter Parker's stuff and they conflict. And it's like, yeah, that's just the suckiness of Peter Parker's Spider-Man character. No matter if it's this version, the comics version, that's... That's the character, guys. Uh, and how does he keep going through it? You know, how does he deal with that?
But yeah, I'm gonna go see this movie, definitely. I hope they, I mean, they are gonna, I have, again, I have no doubt they're gonna introduce the multiverse stuff no matter what. I don't think Mysterio is gonna be from another Earth. I think he's gonna be really doing his illusions in this film. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is like a favorite. I mean, like, the dude, I can't wait to see how, what he does uh, as this classic villain in the MCU. But if you liked the video, please give this video a like. It would really help me out. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the second trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home. And if you want to see more on my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.